before we were at what's called our tech center, which is an R&D facility. Uh, and we were proving out the concept of a cook and bag process. And we had an inline cook chill process um, that was very hard on our product. So it really bent it up and made it look terrible. The way you can, can look at it, it's a, a basically a, a washing machine. So the product, when we put it in, didn't always come out in the same order that we put it in. So we wouldn't get first in, first out. Um, so the ability to make sure our cook times were proper or not too long or too short uh, is very crucial to our process. So the ability to have first in, first out uh, is imperative and the, the process we had did not give us that. So because it's a, uh, like an auger inside there, it would come into flights and they would roll around each other and they would literally move our labels around and they would come out very crooked. Um, so was, it, we had a lot, of, um, a lot of loss because of label misplacement um, after they went through the cook system. So the, uh, the system just really wasn't for our application. So we were very challenged at coming out with a good quality product using that system. So when we decided that the concept worked well and that we were going to go to a full production line, we started looking for other alternatives. Uh, and that's when we found the SIS systems. We run through about 1,000 pounds an hour. We qualified their system out to 3,500 pounds an hour, which is probably 500 pounds an hour faster than we'll ever go. So we really don't need any more capacity out of these particular units, um, but for our next line, we may have to up that, which is just a size change. It really won't change the insides of the equipment. We looked at other solutions kind of in that same realm, uh, but some of them based on price or availability just didn't fit what we needed. Um, the SIS Johnsonville is very good at at looking at the new and innovation and working, and we have a lot of equipment out here that's serial number one or two, three, um, so we're, we're kind of used to that. And the system that was proposed to us through SIS, uh, what we thought was one of those upcoming systems that we really wanted to get ahead of and really understand how it works. So that was, that was our deciding factor. Because it was serial number two, we had some challenges in the beginning, but the FPS group have been fantastic to work with. They've had people out here anytime we've had any issues, and they've worked through the issues. Uh, my mechanics have, have gotten very versed in this, so we've been able to collaborate with their engineering to come up with some solutions um, that they now have in place on both of our tanks. So the immersion right now allows us, we have a large capacity of water, it's about seven to 8,000 gallons per tank. Uh, so it gives me a very consistent heat level and my product comes out the same way it went in. They're coming in perfectly flat, they come out perfectly flat. Um, so we've been very, very happy with the outcome.